Bringing in Chief Meteorologist Scott Padgett, who I think will be joining us here on Monday as well, right? We're all coming back to work after the, the lotto numbers. Did Look, you check them? I told y'all if I won, no one would know it for a oh, few okay. months because all my cousins would show up, because I don't have and friends or whatever it may be. So, actually, my tickets are in the car, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, you haven't know. checked yet? Okay. I didn't take a picture of them, so who knows? But uh, you know what? Even if I won, I'd still be here because we've got to talk about the weather, right? <laughs> Stop laughing at me, y'all. Dallas Sky Cam time lapse shows that we have cloud cover around. And as we went through the day today, we had that cloud cover sticking around, uh, kind of socking in our camera just a little bit. But then late in the day, we saw a little bit of clearing as dry air was starting to mix its way on in. And the clouds will still be here through the remainder of the night. But look where the majority of the heaviest rain is so far tonight. The upper level energy that's shifting its way overhead is continuing to shift its way to these. So that's why right now we have the heaviest rain from near Tyler down through parts of Athens. Stretching down to the east of Fairfield now, right along 79. So maybe some flooding concerns there as well. The river flooding will continue. Those streams and creeks also above a flood stage in a couple of spots uh, through parts of the Fair Park area. We showed you a little bit earlier that uh, it was a rainy day today, uh, but now drying out for us, at least for tonight. Now, still some drizzle will be around, maybe some fog also developing. The future sky forecast shows that the rain continues to clear as we go through the remainder of the night, and those clouds clear tomorrow. So we added another inch of rain, a little bit more than an inch of rain, into the rain gauge today at DFW. So for the year, we're now at 47.19 inches. We're still the eighth wettest year on record. Uh, we have rain on the way next week as well, so we might see that number go up. Want to point out our visibility is low right now, already about a mile to about half of a mile across the Metroplex. And overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, some patchy fog could develop. Uh, so just keep that in mind for your early morning uh, drive if you're going to be getting out really early. And then as we have a cool front passing its way through, the dry air mixes in and the fog gets on out of here. You notice that the temperatures, they don't change too much overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, still in the mid to the upper 50s. So tomorrow we'll see 57 degrees, eventually then warm to the low 70s with those clouds clearing out. So we have an area of low pressure out towards the west, but I want to point out down near Central America, there's Tropical Storm Vincente. You're like, all right, why are you talking about that one? Well, it works its way up the Mexico. Mexico coastline out over the open water still, but then the moisture from that gets pulled here into the southern plains Tuesday into Wednesday from the southwest, pushes northeast. And so for our midweek, we have rain returning to the forecast, but then it quickly gets on out of here uh, by Thursday into Thursday night. So it's not going to stick around uh, for five or six days in a row. But we are going to be seeing uh, through the weekend, not too bad, some sunshine all the way Sunday before that rain returns to the forecast. So get outside Sunday, get outside tomorrow. It's going to be great in the afternoon hour. 66 Sunday, and then Monday, those clouds increase. Small rain chances Monday night, Tuesday. Wednesday, upper 60s, then the low 60s Wednesday before we dry out and we heat back up towards the end of the week.